you are happening guys, did you manage to calm down a little bit? Honestly, I haven't, I can't, I'm still shaking. Following the groundbreaking announcement from Marvel uh, press release, which was reposted uh, at marvel.com, uh, with Spider-Man now joining uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, nope, Sony aren't selling the Spider-Man rights, it's more of a collaboration between Marvel and Sony. Sony will finance, distribute the films and Marvel will help them with that. And of course, Spider-Man will now appear in Marvel Cinematic Films in his own film, which will be released in 2017, with Kevin Feige and the whole Marvel Studios team actually helping Sony with that. But before that, Spidey will make his first brand new appearance as a new Spider-Man in one of the Marvel Cinematic Universe films. And now we know almost for sure which movie is that. Uh, just recently, the Wall Street Journal reported some interesting details about the whole Marvel Studios Sony Pictures deal. Apparently, it was revealed that the rumored Spidey Summit, uh, which was supposed to happen in January, a talk between the heads at Sony Pictures, uh, where they were actually discussing what to do with Spider-Man, apparently this was the result of the Spidey Summit, and indeed the Spidey Summit already happened. It was revealed that the whole deal between Marvel and Sony was still dead as of December 2014. So that's a huge step, if you think about it. December they still didn't know what to do, and already in January they knew that they have to collaborate with Marvel. Honestly, at this point it's probably the wisest decision from Sony. Now the Wall Street Journal also reports that seems that we will see the new Spider-Man uh, first role, first appearance of his in Captain America Civil War, which will be released in 2016. So if you can't wait to see the brand new Spider-Man, it's May 6, 2016 for Captain America Civil War. That's when Spidey will make an appearance. Captain America Civil War is about to start shooting. I highly doubt that they will rewrite the whole story. Uh, as we know, as we heard previously, Black Panther is supposed to was supposed to take the role of Spidey, uh, a guy in between Iron Man and Captain America, in between the whole conflict between two of them. Uh, it seems that Black Panther still will play a crucial part in this story, but that being said, it's not like Spider-Man won't make an appearance there. Most likely it will be a brief role, some sort of an introduction role, maybe a team-up between him and Black Panther, uh, maybe he will pop up in the post credit scene, but as it is reported by Wall Street Journal, it will be Captain America Civil War, not Avengers Age of Ultron, I'm pretty sure they still can include some easter egg, some mention of Spidey in Avengers Age of Ultron, that would be logically, seeing how they just announced it and they still have time to edit the film, you know, they still have time to throw Spider-Man into one of the post credit scene there. But one thing is for sure, Marvel will somehow have to make some changes to Captain America Civil War's story. Uh, whether it's a brief role for Spidey, I think he deserves some sort of role, not just an easter egg, not just a mention of him. Definitely we will see him full body costume and brand new Peter Parker. As I said, it's very sad about Andrew actually leaving and most likely getting replaced by a new actor that's largely and that's Civil War, and then Spidey will have his own solo film, which will be released in 2017. It's interesting to know that the leaked emails actually reveal the possible potential way as to how exactly they might introduce Spider-Man in Civil War. You can check out the video on that topic in the description box. So tell me what you guys think about it, check out the full uh, Wall Street Journal article in the description box, and if you're wondering how Spidey should be probably introduced into Marvel Cinematic Universe, you can watch my video from last year where I actually explain as to how to probably introduce the brand new Peter Parker and how to make him important, how to make him actually play a crucial role and how to make him appeal to the audience even more. Uh, you know, it's a third Spider-Man by now, you, they have to introduce him properly. You can check out my thoughts on that in the description box. Stay tuned for more, more is coming, definitely more is coming very shortly and I'm out for now.